Hello YouTube, it's at Channel Anna at Bella here today and today I'm outside as you can see. Um, this is the only sunflower that we've actually got this year. It's pretty small. And you can't really see it that well. There it is. Yeah, the only sunflower. It's really midgety in comparison. But we do have these lovely um, bee attractors for bees. So go bees, because bees, uh, British bees are endangered, just letting you know. Okay, today um, I'm going to be reviewing Batman, The World of the Dark Knight um, book. It's by Dorian Kingsley and DC Comics. Um, I've also got the Batman Superman movie. Um, it um, features both Metropolis and Gotham City and Batman and Superman and the Joker and Lex Luthor. But also, more famously, it features... its. Um, a fight between Mercy Graves and um, Harley Quinn um, whilst the Joker and Lex have a nice calm chat their ladies um, start punching each other and um, it contains mild violence it's PG and it costs three pounds from my local supermarket so I recommend it and it does feature Mark Hamill as the voice of the Joker Mark Hamill is um, also famous for playing Luke Skywalker in the original Star Wars trilogy just to let you know um, he is the voice of um, the Joker in the Batman animated series that won BAFTAs and several other things um, I've also got this super villains um, DC Comics super villains the Joker's last laugh um, it's two discs and you open it out You've got disc one, disc two. The only problem is it's a, it's a US um, region. It's a region one um, DVDs, which is really annoying because I need something to play it on. Um, and it contains um, the following episodes. Christmas with the Joker, the Joker's favourite, Harley and Ivy, the world's finest part one, two and three, the Joker's wild. Disc two is Harlequinade, Bat in the Belfry. Hail the Tornado Tyrant, Emperor Joker, Rebirth Part 1, Rebirth Part 2. Um, so I would really like to watch that because that's probably really, really cool as well. Um, so yeah, and I've also got um, this, the Justice League Gotham City Breakout original movie. It's quite funny and it is um, interesting because it actually, um, Batman goes on vacation and um, Superman has to um, mind Gotham, which is kind of funny. Um, it is quite funny, um, and it does um, have some similarities to Kung Fu Panda series. Um, but overall, I enjoyed it, and I also got um, some stickers. I've already used the Joker and the Harlequin one, but you get these stickers inside it. And you also get an ultraviolet copy. So... I kind of like it. It's quite fun. Um, and there is going to be the Lego um, Batman movie um, that's going to be coming out soon. Um, On to the book. Um, if I was to rate these, this is kind of like aimed at children mostly, but it is quite funny. And the Joker does talk to a spoon. And then you've got that. Um, this one is actually not rated, which is kind of weird, so I'm going to put it at a PG. Because um, I know the content of some of these episodes. Uh, so, yeah, that's probably on the same par as that. That one's for, very child-friendly. These two, not so. Um, this is Batman, The World of the Dark Knight. It's done by Dorian Kingsley up there and DC Comics. Um, Batman, as um, everybody should be aware, is 75 years old, as is the Joker, because um, DC Comics started in 1930s. So, there you've got the original logo. There. Natural light is so annoying, isn't it? Um, so here we go. Um, it contains a forward and introduction. So you've got the birth of Batman, the origins, the gadgets, the weaponry, and it kind of goes through each of the ages. So you've got the golden age of the 30s and 40s, 1930s, 1940s, 50s, 1950s, and 60s, the Silver Age, and then the Bronze Age, the mid 70s to the 80s. And the Dark Age, mid 80s, mid um, OOs, noughties, and the Modern Age, mid 90s onward. Um, so it's all in here. It's really nicely illustrated for a book. It's pretty cool, and I really like it. 
there's lots to delve into in here. You can either read it in order or you can just find like characters. There's a whole section on Batman's love life. And there's a whole section on the Joker, Rogue's Gallery, and it just goes on. World's Finest, Bronze Age. It's just really, really cool. Because remember, there's 75 years of these characters in the Batman universe to sort of like work with. So that's pretty cool. Oh, the Red Hood, under the Red Hood. Oh, I really, really love that. That was an epic episode sorry i digress batman and sun so yeah so there's uh, damien i know he's controversial but he's canon so we have to live with it damien wayne so yeah i mean if the joker can have an unknown daughter called lucy then why on earth can't batman have a son called damien wayne anyway so this is uh the controversial new 52 um origin where they've rebooted everything um, I know there are issues with it, but to be absolutely honest, things have got to reboot. I mean, we're dealing with a 70-year-old Batman and a 70-year-old Joker. In fact, they're both 75, so they're kind of like the age of your grandparents, weirdly enough. So please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, bye!